Worldwide interest in Mars has never been greater since NASA held a press conference to announce the discovery of this small meteor. Knocked off the surface of Mars many millions of years ago, it crashed into the Earth by chance. Inside, scientists found minerals that could only have formed in water. Along with the minerals were other structures that could have been produced by bacteria-like creatures. The simplest explanation to us is that they are the remains of Martian life. The meteor, and another discovered by British scientists, were tantalizing clues we might not be alone in the universe. But not everyone agreed with the evidence. Is there really life on Mars? It's an age-old question that's puzzled scientists for centuries and triggered an ongoing debate about manned or unmanned missions. There's a thought that maybe we ought to send people to try and understand the history of life on Mars. The issue is we send robots to do a broad reconnaissance of the planet to isolate those places where humans might go. And after we send robots on the surface, we want to bring back samples with robots to get even more evidence. And then, if the evidence is overwhelming, then we go and we send people.